Día de Muertos. A beautiful celebration where you make a party for your lost ones. That's what my comic is about. Lovely Phantom. Yes, I made it a year ago and I still feel proud of it. So, I'm going to tell you why I'm proud of it and, well, I don't care if you don't care. <laughs> uh, basically, I was depressed. Um, that's it. I was depressed in the point where I didn't want to do anything and still managed to create a comic, you know, like I create something and well, that's why I'm proud of it. Now let's go through the process of my comic, how I made it and maybe I can help you with your comic or your ideas or your story. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Step one. Inspiration. That can be anything, to be honest. For me, it was this song. You can listen to it for yourself. It's in YouTube and Spotify. It's too risky for me to show you the song. I'm not going to take that risk. I'm too scared, you know. <laughs> but well, I listened to it for the first time and I was amazed. I couldn't stop imagining a party the middle of the forest and there is where step two comes in brainstorming i actually don't have much to say about this step i only drew like three things and i had the idea of what i wanted to draw to do to sketch to make <laughs> and it was the idea was basically i wanted to create a phantom looking for a party in the middle of the forest because it's, the party is calling them and that's the story like that's it just that and there is where storyboarding comes around i started sketching at of the tempo of the music i only wanted to make the story with the song uh, with the lyrics, I actually write the lyrics in the in the storyboard, but it didn't end up in the comic because I actually just, to be honest, I forgot to add it. And yeah, so I have the inspiration, the idea, and the story ready. Now what is missing is the character design, and that's where step four comes around. To create a character, you need to have in consideration some things. For the moment, I only remember two, three, maybe, but they are the most important for me. And the one, the first one is shape and form. Second one is color, and the third one is research, search, investigation. Yes, you have to investigate. Everything you do, you have to investigate. Even to create the story, you have to investigate. I didn't do that because I'm Mexican. Dia de Muertos is a Mexican celebration, so I actually know a little bit. I did some research because I needed to know, you know, the, the things I forgot because even when you, it's your celebration, you forget things. So... If I investigate something that is my celebration, you have to investigate something that is not yours. And uh, even if it is yours, you have to do so. Okay? Okay. So like the title says, my character is based in a phantom. The head is made of a calab calabrita de azúcar, sugar skull. And sugar skulls are made to be a representation of the lost ones. Of your loved ones that are lost, that are dead. And yeah, it's a pretty representation for me and I wanted to express that in the phantom. And then I add Senpasu shield, the flower, to his eyes. I don't remember what the meaning is, but... They are there. Now that we have everything, or well, that I have everything I need, 
it's time to the cleanup and this is easy to be honest is you have to do the basic thing of the drawing for this is the final step basically what you need to do is to make the sketch from the storyboard with the pages in the long in long pages like the webtoons i don't know how to say that then the liner you clean everything and do the liner and erase the sketch then when the liner is ready you add the color and when the color is ready you add the shadows and the lights that's it that's that's it that's how i make my comic and it's pretty it was pretty easy i was pretty happy about it it i don't know i it has people that it, they love the comic and they like the comic and i had people come to my instagram to tell me that they love my comic and that made me happy so maybe think about doing a story it would be nice the comic is in my webtoons and my tapas with the title of lovely phantom and i'm planning to make a game about it so stay tuned and that's it thanks for watching see you next time